Hello, I'm Rob, an engineering manager on the Edge team, and this is what's new in the Microsoft Edge developer tools for version 111. In 111, you can now remote debug Microsoft Edge tabs, PWAs, and WebView2 controls on Xbox and HoloLens devices. In the performance tool, when debugging production code, file and function names are now unminified. We've also made it easier to copy the selector stats table from the performance tool to Excel. We made the controls for themes and vision deficiencies emulation available directly in the device mode toolbar. Next, in focus mode, we made the elements tool sidebar easier to use. And we improved the accessibility of the quick view toolbar for screen reader users. Finally, it's now possible to create, convert, and debug high definition colors. Let's dive in. First up, remote debugging of Microsoft Edge tabs as well as installed progressive web apps or PWAs and even WebView 2 controls in native applications is now available on Xbox and HoloLens devices. This means you don't need to open DevTools on your Xbox or HoloLens device anymore. Instead, you can connect your device remotely and debug from the comfort of your usual development machine. This works by using the Remote Tools for Microsoft Edge app, which is now available on Xbox and HoloLens devices. The app is a plugin for the Windows Device Portal for desktop and enables remote debugging. With the app installed and Device Portal enabled, you can use the Edge colon slash slash inspect page, select the target you'd like to debug, and then use DevTools to debug it. We'd love to hear your feedback about this remote debugging flow. Leave us a comment at aka.ms slash remote dash debugging dash feedback. Next, the performance tool now displays unminified file and function names, which can be very useful when debugging your production website, where JavaScript files are usually bundled and minified. Back in Microsoft Edge 99, we had added a manual unminify feature to the performance tool. This feature was able to apply source maps to a performance recording. With Microsoft Edge 111, we have now removed this feature because the performance tool can automatically provide the original file and function names while profiling production code. This works as long as source maps are available in your application for debugging, which is easiest when you're, they're hosted on Azure Artifact Symbol Server. You can learn more about using the Azure Artifact Symbol Server at aka.ms slash devtools symbol server. We also improved the selector stats table in the performance tool. Recently, we introduced the selector stats feature in the performance tool, which allows you to know exactly the CSS selectors that were matched during a style recalculation event. This feature makes it a lot easier to know the CSS rules that are taking the longest time to process when the browser engine is re-rendering parts of your page. But now, with Microsoft Edge 111, you can now also export selector stats tables to Microsoft Excel. This makes it possible to copy multiple selector stats tables and do aggregate selector performance analyses over an entire profile, rather than just one style recalculation event. To export a selector stats table, first, click and drag on the table to select it entirely, Second, right-click the table and select Copy, and third, paste the table into Excel. Next, we made the theme and vision deficiency emulation features a lot easier to find and use. Theme emulation is useful to test how your website adapts to various user preferences, such as light and dark themes or high contrast themes. And, vision deficiency emulation is useful to test the accessibility of your website for people with various vision deficiencies. For example, you can emulate achromatopsia, which is when the user is unable to perceive any color. Previously, these features were only available from the rendering tool, which made them harder to find. In Microsoft Edge 111, you can now access them directly from the device mode toolbar, which many people already use to test the responsiveness of their websites. For example, to emulate high contrast mode and test how your web content responds, first, open the device mode toolbar, Second, in the toolbar next to the throttling menu, click Emulate Media Features. And third, select Forced Colors Active. In our Focus Mode UI experiment, we made the sidebar in the Elements tool easier to use. In previous versions, when using Focus Mode and DevTools was narrow, the Elements tool didn't let you easily access all of the tabs in the sidebar. Now, in Microsoft Edge 111, this issue has been fixed. When the sidebar is too narrow to fit all the tabs, click on the More Tabs button to display all of the available tabs. To find out more about focus mode, go to aka.ms slash focus dash mode. Also in focus mode, we improved the accessibility of quick view. In previous versions of Microsoft Edge, screen readers didn't announce anything after moving a tool from the activity bar to quick view. Moving tools between these two toolbars can be very useful to customize your tools and use two of them at the same time to achieve a particular task. Now, screen readers confirm that a tool was successfully moved between the two toolbars. 
Finally, you can now work with new high-definition CSS colors much more easily than before. The implementation of the CSS Colors 4 specification in Chromium brings a lot of new capabilities to the web, such as wide gamut colors, color manipulation functions, and better gradients. With Microsoft Edge 111, the Elements tool now lets you manipulate HD colors easily. For instance, the color picker now supports the new color spaces and displays the gamut boundary. And you can easily convert between different color formats and be alerted when a conversion is clipped to fit the target color space. That's it for the new features of Microsoft Edge DevTools 111, but before wrapping up, here's a useful DevTools tip. In the Network tool, when HTTP requests are displayed in the table, you can actually customize the table columns. To do this, just right-click on any of the headers, select the columns you want, and deselect the ones you don't. For example, you can deselect the name column and select the path column instead in order to see the full path of each downloaded resource. And that's it for today. If you have feedback, ideas, feature requests, or bugs, join our community on GitHub at github.com slash Microsoft Edge slash DevTools. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at msedgedev and like and subscribe to stay tuned for what's coming next in Microsoft Edge 112.